Hey everybody, how's it going? Today we're going to be taking a look at a Zippo lighter insert, one of two that I recently picked up. This is the Zippo single torch butane lighter insert. This will convert your regular Zippo lighter that has the wick and everything else and you fill it with lighter fluid to a butane lighter. So take that out. Open this up. Adjustable flame height fits all regular Zippo lighter cases. Refillable with butane fuel, which, hey, look at that right there. So take it out and drop it. As you can see, a very similar design. You have the little button, little clicker there. Uh, the chimney, you know, it's the same pattern. Uh, you know, you don't need it to look like this, I guess, because it doesn't have to worry about wind resistance or anything. But, you know, obviously they're keeping with their style. So, because so many people said that I didn't read the directions with the Dissim lighter, I'm going to take a second here, look at the directions, we're going to make sure we do everything right. I'm sure it'll function fine. They make zillions of these, it's not really a new product. I think they actually used to make, I think you used to be able to just buy this in a case. They might still do that, it doesn't matter. All right, I'm going to take a look at the directions and I'll be right back. Okay, so it's as I expected. What we're going to do is flip this over, connect this butane fuel to the port, and push in. Here we go. Now that should be enough. It says to wait two minutes to allow any excess gas to dissipate. So I will be back in two minutes. Okay, so it's been two minutes. Now what we're going to do is take it, insert it into my Zippo case. There you go. Flick that down. Pretty stylish and new. I should polish this up. Actually, I should have put a little uh, brasso on this before first use. I've had it sitting in a drawer for like two years now. It's probably, it's probably been about two years since I've used this. So, all right, let's open it up. And there you go. Perfect. Mm. Smells like a little excess gas. Well, I did let it run for about half a second before, but perfect. So shall we go into the bathroom and see how it lights something? Why not? So I decided to bring you outside instead. And uh, we'll just smoke out here instead. Instead of filling the house up with a carcinogen. Um, I can understand why somebody would want to use this if you don't feel like dealing with the flints or the lighter fluid and, you know, you might be out somewhere and starts going and then you're screwed because you're out of fluid and then you just have to buy more fluid or buy a bic anyways, which, I mean, a Zippo is something that you have to maintain on like a bic lighter where you just throw it away and you get a new one. So this is certainly a lot easier just, you know, I didn't adjust the flame height or anything, but it's tight. Um, there's your flame adjustment. If I can bring it into camera, the, you know, into frame. There's your flame adjustment. Uh, let's see. A lot of times you could use the cap of the Zippo and turn it. So, yes, yeah, so you can do that with this. I'm just going to leave it where it was-ish. So, there you go. And looks fine to me. So where it was from the factory is fine. Uh, also, people say that you get a flavor with cigars from using a regular Zippo with Zippo fluid. So you're not going to get this with butane. But all right, I guess we'll see how it lights. What the heck? It's Christmas Eve. And it lights just fine. So that's with a uh, SIG. I know smoking is bad, but next we'll uh, put this down and we'll try it with a uh, cigar instead because I know that's the reason that most people would buy this. And we're actually going to use the same cigar. We're going to commit a sin and I'm going to use this same cigar with the uh, arc lighter in that video as well. So. Let me unwrap the cigar and we'll be right back. There it is. So, 
Next thing we'll do is we'll light this up and I mean, it's a Dutch, how good can it really taste? But you know, Dutch Masters Palma, spent a whole dollar on this bad boy and I will not smoke the whole thing. So, all right, let's uh, see how it lights a cigar. And oh, in case anyone's wondering, I know it's gonna light the cigar. Like I said, I bought this more to test out the arc lighter because I'm curious about how that's gonna work. And there you go. Could use a little toast. Let's see, that's the other thing you could do too with this that's nice is toast the edges. Uh, they say not to leave it on for more than 10 seconds also, by the way. So, you know, just for your, when you're using it, if you use it, but here we go. Canoeing already. So what do I think of it? Well, I actually really like it. It eliminates a lot of the issues that I could see people having with a Zippo and not carrying one and instead just everyday carrying a big lighter. Even if you don't smoke and you just carry a lighter to carry a lighter, um, I could see this being the way to go. You could also store this for a lot longer and you won't have the fuel evaporation that occurs with, you know, the regular Zippo insert, like the one that it comes with. Um, this is nice. I I'm actually, I might just leave this in here because why, why drain the fluid? It's not going anywhere. Um, and it's ready to roll. So I would, I would recommend this. I picked this up for, I think it was, I think it was $14 on Amazon. And you know, I already had the lighter, so you can pick your, whatever case will fit this. It won't fit the minis, obviously. Um, but yeah, I would absolutely recommend this. And it's a, certainly a good product. So on that note, have a good day and take it easy.